ever seen a camera do this before? Yep, that's the gimbal stabilization at work on the new Vivo X50 Pro. We'll talk about that and a lot more about the new X50 and the X50 Pro from Vivo. But first, the unboxing. The X50 Pro isn't your usual phone and this isn't your usual phone box. We have a holographic X effect on the front with the X50 Pro written at the center and 5G branding near the bottom. Turning it around, we have some more information about the phone. This is the 8256 variant of the X50 Pro in the alpha gray color. Opening up the box, the X50 Pro is nestled on one side inside protective wrap. Picking it up and peeling off the plastic. Wow, this is one shiny gray glass pack. We'll come back to it in a moment. By the way guys, if you are enjoying this unboxing, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Back to the box now, we have a soft protective case, a quick start guide as well as warranty information. Then there's a SIM tool. We also get the 33 watt Vivo Flash Charge 2.0 charging brick along with a USB Type-C cable. Now, the moving camera that I showed you guys earlier, that's the primary 48 megapixel IMX598 sensor from Sony. It's coupled with a wide f1.6 lens. As expected, it takes amazing pictures in daylight. Just take a look at this shot. The highlights of the white clouds in the sky aren't blown out. At the same time, the details in the shadows of the leaves are also perfectly retained. Vivo seems to have done a really good job here. Now, one amazing feature is that this little animation that we see on screen, the movement of this tiny ball mimics the movement of the gimbal. So as long as we keep it inside the small circle, pictures come out nice and in focus. Now, this is an awesome way to get steady shots, not just in daylight, but also at night. And speaking of that, just look at these samples. This one of the hut was taken handheld in complete darkness. The exposure went up to four fifths of a second. With regular cameras, even those equipped with OIS, exposing for such a long time would have resulted in a much blurrier image. This is where the gimbal comes into play, as it gives the camera about three times more compensation than a traditional OIS setup. Taking advantage of this gimbal stabilization, the Vivo X50 Pro comes with a number of special photography modes like the Pro Sports mode and the Starry Sky mode. Underneath the main camera, we have two other cameras in the rectangular camera bump. One is an 8 megapixel ultra wide. It can not only take super wide angle perspective shots like these, but also helps us get macro shots. It still retains the vibrant colors and the details are way better than some dedicated macro shooters. The other one is a 13 megapixel telephoto camera that offers 2x optical zoom. So we can take regular or zoomed in portrait shots like these. That's not all. We have a periscope camera in here as well. Yep, this 5 megapixel snapper offers 5x optical zoom, so we have the regular 1x here, 2x optical zoom from the 13 megapixel sensor, 5x from the periscope, and then 60x of digital zoom. Pretty impressive, right? Now this is a feature-loaded camera. We have super moon photography thanks to the periscope zoom lens, and heck, we haven't even touched the video features like motion autofocus, audio zoom, and all that. Suffice to say, this is one of the most feature-packed camera phones that I've come across in 2020. Would you guys want me to do a full camera review? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so this is a camera-focused phone and Vivo shows it off beautifully with their big eye design. And the primary camera here, this rectangular camera bump, I mean, that's the first thing you notice when you pick this phone up. The glass back with its subtle gradient pattern is delightfully minimal. It's a smooth matte finish that doesn't pick up fingerprints and smudges easily. The curved glass to the back melts into the metal frame and one of the first things that I noticed when I picked up the X50 Pro, it was just how sleek it is. It's a hair over 8mm and despite the premium glass and metal construction, Vivo's managed to keep the weight around 180 grams. The metal frame holds a textured power button to the right and above that we find the volume rockers. Up top, we have another one of this phone's signature design elements. Vivo is calling this a choker pattern, and the company says that they would also be offering a custom laser engraving on this surface as a way of further customizing the phone to each individual's taste. The left edge is left empty save for the antenna bands, and it is to the bottom that we find the dual sum slot, the primary mic, Type-C port, and the internal speaker. Turning our attention to the front, we have the 6.56 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED panel with minimal bezels to the top and bottom and sides that curve gracefully joining the metal frame. Vivo is calling this their 3D curved Ultra O display. Ultra O because we have this punch hole to the top left, it holds a 32 megapixel selfie shooter. We get sharp looking selfies with good details and nice balanced skin tones. Coming back to the display itself, we have punchy colors and deep blacks as expected from a Samsung made AMOLED panel of course. 
We even get support for HDR10+, which means watching Netflix or any other content for that matter should be an absolute treat. But that's not all. See how silky smooth Funtouch OS looks on this display? That's cause we have a 90Hz refresh rate along with 180Hz touch sampling. Combine that with the new Snapdragon 765G and what we should get is fluid performance throughout the UI. In my time so far, I found the X50 Pro to be very responsive. Switching between apps felt fast. I will continue testing this phone out and will have more for you guys on gaming and everything else in my full review. Rounding up the hardware specs, we have 8 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of UFS 2.1 storage, and powering all of this is a sizable 4315 mAh battery. Considering the fact that we have a current gen 7 nanometer chip in here along with an AMOLED panel, I expect the Vivo X50 Pro to do well with battery life. Now one thing to keep in mind is that the X50 Pro is a 5G capable phone and given how power hungry 5G radios are, we might find that they drain the 4000 plus mAh battery fairly quickly, but that's not a problem that we here in India are likely to face, cause 5G rollout, it's still quite some time away. Of course, if we do happen to run out of power, we always have that 33 watt flash charger to fall back on. Now, I have left this to the last because I've never been a big fan of Vivo's Funtouch OS. Don't get me wrong, it's always been feature packed and well optimized, but the user interface felt a bit too far away from stock Android for my personal taste. Now that's all changed with the X50 Pro and well, most of my major complaints with Funtouch OS have been fixed. Lack of an app draw, we now have one. No settings cog in the notification shade, we have that too. Control center like interface, well that's gone and we have stock Android style quick toggles right here in the notification drop down. So yeah, what I thought might be the weakest link of the X50 Pro actually surprised me the most. Funtouch OS is as feature packed as ever, we have the usual Jovi AI assistant and ultra game mode, but we also have stock Android 10 features like digital well-being, of course. This beautiful AMOLED panel would have felt incomplete without a system wide dark mode, so Vivo has included that as well. Oh and speaking of AMOLED, we have an in-display fingerprint scanner in here and it's quite fast and accurate. Now well that about wraps it up for the X50 Pro, we do have another phone that Vivo has launched today, the X50. It keeps the fantastic 90Hz AMOLED panel from Samsung, but ditches the fancy curves to the side. The chipset powering all of this is the regular old Snapdragon 730 here, that means no 5G, and well the other main difference lies in the camera setup. We do not get the fancy gimbal stabilization, but the primary is still 48 megapixels. We do retain the 8 megapixel ultra wide and 13 megapixel telephoto, but there's no periscope zoom here. And finally, we do get the same 33 watt fast charger, the battery itself is a little smaller at 4200 mAh. And as you've probably already guessed, as of filming this video, we have no official confirmation on the prices of these phones, but as soon as we do get to know, we'll put them in a pinned comment down below. Of course, by the time this video goes live, you should probably be knowing the price already. So let me know what you think about the pricing of the X50 and the X50 Pro from Vivo. What do you think about this phone in, uh, in general overall? Uh, let me know via the comments below. And with that, I guess we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you felt about it. Also subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.